Well, hello there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. We're going to have a look at your weekly tarot forecast for July 24th through 30th of 2023. This week, uh, we've got a couple of highlighted dates for you. We've got on the 27th, Mercury is in Leo, conjunct Venus in Leo. So uh, this is a great day for meeting new people, for getting outside. Uh, if you have to give like a presentation or anything like that, if you have a choice as to when you can schedule it, try for the 27th. You'll just have a little bit of a cosmic boost there to uh, help you out, right? And who doesn't need, if you're giving a speech or a presentation, or, you know, if you've got to stand up in front of a crowd and kind of sell yourself, right? Maybe a job interview, even at that, uh, who doesn't need a little bit of a, a cosmic boost from the, from the universe, right? It's a great energy there. It's also a great day to go out uh, and be sociable, go out like on a first date, right? So a very out there, um, a very uh, showy kind of energy, but not in an arrogant way. So it's a really great, uh, a really great energy there. We also have on the 28th Mercury in Virgo, and that's going to be there for the next few weeks. So Mercury is actually very comfortable in Virgo. And we hear a lot about Mercury retrograde and things like that strikes fear in the hearts of most people. However, Mercury in Virgo brings um, Mercury, the planet of communication and your thoughts, um, it brings it down to earth a little bit. So it brings in a little bit of practical energy for you. Um, this is where we're more thoughtful, we're more organized, and we're more in alignment to solve problems. So it's a great energy there for you. We've got the Mystic Healer coming out first. Healing energy flows through you. So this is great. You know, I mean, we heal in a lot of ways on a daily basis, right? We can, you know, we can overcome fears, right? We can, over, we can face our doubts, you know, we can really just kind of take a big deep breath and, you know, really just go out into our day, right? And we're kind of every little step forward that we make, um, no matter how big, no matter how small is our path to healing. And we do think about healing as being like this big thing, right? And yes, it can be. But on a weekly basis, right? Are you um, a little bit how should we say, a little bit hesitant about meeting new people? Do you have a fear of public speaking? Uh, do you believe in yourself? Are you confident? And so part of our healing process is to go through the things that make us uncomfortable. And so this is where you can really overcome things this week. The mystic healer can also bring about some spiritual healing as well. So your connection with your higher self, especially where we do have Mercury um, headed into Virgo. This can be really good energy. This can be very introspective for you. Maybe you're doing a little bit of soul searching. Maybe you're doing some energy clearing this week. And this can be really great energy for you connecting with water, using crystals or just using good old plain old fashioned meditation and intention. So this might be where you just kind of get some of your energy field in alignment. Some of you are possibly considering a career change as well. There's a lot of people going through a lot of changes right now, and we are in the summer. So the summertime does tend to, you know, as well as, you know, New Year's, right? It's when people really do some reflection. But the summertime it just kind of carries a little bit of energy where people are getting outside a little more. They're having more fun. And, uh, you know, if you're in a career path that you don't like or, you know, you're working overtime and everyone else is having a good time and you're sitting there putting your nose to the grindstone, this is where this is where some of you might be really considering a career change and on your path to personal growth. This is something that needs to have a little bit of a shift for you. Now, some of you might actually be called into a healing, um, a healing pathway. <clears throat> so you might be called upon or some of your natural talents might be to help other people in some way. You know, this is, you could be drawn into being like a massage therapist or a counselor, uh, you know, or perhaps you have some spiritual practice that you can put into, um, you know, into a career, right? And make a little bit of money by, you know, healing yourself and helping heal other people as well. So it can be a great energy, but ultimately we do have this beautiful high vibe energy, bringing you openness, bringing you calm and bringing you healing, which is good because we've got the lookout coming in here for you. Okay. So crash and burn for something. Now this can be a worry, right? And we see this, you know, dude on a pirate ship and he's like, uh, 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 you know, looking out into the horizon and he's like, okay, my ship's on fire. Um, is there land? 
Okay, or you're waiting for like the next shoe to drop kind of thing. So with the lookout energy, this is spirit giving you a heads up that something you're either worried that something is going to go very sideways, right? That crash and burn kind of energy. Okay, or something may be happening, <clears throat> excuse me, around you. So it's a heads up either way. OK, so this may be something to do with, you know, you're looking to make some drastic changes. OK, or maybe there's something a little bit unexpected happens. Um, there could be some movements and shakeups in your workplace. Uh, this could be some travel plans that go a little bit sideways. OK, all of that kind of stuff. So just be a little bit aware of that energy that there might be something unexpected happens. All right. But you get things back on track as the week progresses. Okay. It may require you to make some change. It may require you to, you know, just kind of brace yourself and just kind of stay in the flow as things are unfolding around you. All right. So just a little bit of a heads up there for you in that regard. But we do have the five of forces bringing summer and winter in the upright. This is summer energy. So this is a period of growth, a period of high energy, a period of getting out, having fun, um, spreading your wings. Okay. Uh, this can be a time of harvest for you. It's the five of forces coming out in here. So fives are where, you know, we sometimes face a challenge or an obstacle. And we, in this particular energy, we overcome it. So even though you may have something that is a little bit unexpected or something that is uh, a little bit uh, challenging to deal with, the lookout can also bring in some fiery, passionate energy. But in this fiery passion, it can go a little bit sideways. Things can get a little bit heated. Okay, But in the five of forces, this is a beautiful energy bringing in the ray of sunshine. So this may be where you do figure things out, where you overcome things and you've got some positive changes going on. The dust may settle uh, and you're like, oh, OK, now I see. Right. So this can be where you get some clarity and understanding in this energy, because, again, it does bring out this sun, this growth, this optimism and this sense of I'm positive that I can get through this or I'm positive that I can face my fears. But we have the Queen of Scrolls coming in here as well. And the Queen of Scrolls brings you some enlightenment, brings you some clarity and possibly even brings you some information. Now, this can be your energy where you are accessing some information deep within you. You might be doing a little bit of that soul searching, that reflection, especially if you've had a little bit of a challenging week, a little bit of ups and downs in your week, possibly. OK, and this is where maybe you kind of figure things out, right? Take that step back. The queen energy is very open, very receptive and very down to earth and patient. And so with the scrolls, the scrolls brings knowledge and wisdom. And so you might just be figuring some things out about you or getting understanding about where something may have gone wrong in your week. <clears throat> so it's a great energy. Um, this is also where you're very much stepping into your sense of I am strong, I am powerful, and, you know, I have succeeded in something because the queens are successful in their energy. So you may start out a little bit bumpy in your week, but I think things settle down and things really do get to where you want them to be. Now, the queen of scrolls can also represent a person in your world this week. And perhaps this person does bring you some opportunities, some information. Uh, this person may present you with something. They might help you see the potential of things, or maybe it's just somebody like a friend or a family member, someone who you're talking into and they're like I see you differently than you see you and I see you as you know doing this and you're you have these talents you have these gifts because sometimes when we get up in our heads and sometimes when we get in our own energy we get in our own world we see the potential in everybody else but we don't always recognize it in ourselves so this may be um, a person that is giving you something that you need right something that you need just to kind of you know, help you see your way forward or maybe help you understand something that you might be trying to work out this week. So they can be a very, very, very influential person in a very positive way. We have intricacies and industry with the seven of scrolls coming in here as advice from spirit. This is really about the building blocks of life, putting one foot in front of the other. Um, just like an architect would start out with a plan, with a draft 
of things, right, with a design, if you will. This is really spirit saying to you that how you can avoid uh, something going sideways or how, you know, you can um, right some wrongs, so to speak, this week is to put a plan in place to take things one step at a time, one day at a time, and just work through something. But pay attention to the details. The seven of scrolls in that energy, right? Life isn't always easy. Um, life can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes we have to put in a little bit of extra effort and hard work with that, okay? And but sometimes we just have to take things one little baby step at a time. And as we're building, you know, we're building a structure there. And when we're looking, laying the bricks, right, which is what that guy's doing, you might not be able to see it too well, but he's laying the bricks, he's laying the foundation. And when we're doing that, we've got to do it, do it one thing, one brick at a time, got to make sure that it fits. And if that brick doesn't fit, then we need to replace it with another brick. So this might be where you do have to really have a look at some details, and you do need to just take things that one step at a time or just make sure that you've got a strategy, okay? Maybe even a plan B for something here, okay? Because sometimes the best laid plans also don't always work out. And with the lookout, I mean, let's face it, some something that you've planned upon may not necessarily work out or there might be some sort of change, right? And it may feel like a little bit of a disaster. So think of if you're flying to a tropical place or something, you're going on vacation, and this could be where your travel plans are disrupted in some way, right? And you've had the plans, you've made the bookings, you know, you get to the airport on time and all of that kind of stuff. And then maybe something happens somewhere else on the planet. And you know, your plans get affected because of that things work out for you by the forces in the summer energy, hey, your plans work out for you eventually, but maybe you do need to have that plan B, or you just need to be prepared that something may not go the way that you had intended originally. So um, <clears throat> plan that plan B one step at a time, okay, and pay attention to details. But the blessings headed your way this week, we've got the three of scrolls setting your course. So if you are going on a trip, on a journey, right, just like Ahoy matey on this card, okay, got a beautiful rainbow, these guys, they're looking at a map, they're looking at the plans, right, and this guy's looking out into the great blue yonder, right, and the rainbow brings some magic, the rainbow brings um, the calm after the storm, right, so this can be where everything does work out for you, okay, so if you're just worried about something going wrong, maybe there are a couple of things that go wrong, but everything Thing does work out in the end and things settle down. Hey, you might start off a little bit stormy this week. All right. But again, you know, with the setting your course, it does work out for you. This energy here can represent that a journey goes well. It might not start off that way, but things do fall into place for you. But this can show that your plans, your planning or your foresight here does pay off for you. Okay. Preparation is the key to being very successful no matter what you're doing in your world, no matter how big, how big or how small. So your plans do work out, especially if you do have kind of a plan B, like a little bit of a contingency plan, right? That might work out for you very, very well. So that's always good to see. All right, so let's grab a couple of final cards for you guys and see what we've got. Last cards here, please, for Aries, thank you. And what do we have here? That was your first card. Whoops, upside down. And we have creation. Beautiful. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Wow. Uh, and this is brought to you by Fire Agate. And would you look at that, right? The flames of destruction. Okay, the lookout. So, yes, yeah, something may uh, be a little bit fiery or disastrous or Something may not look like it's going to go your way, okay, but it ends up with some positive change there. So very interesting in that. There is your final message, and we've got more fire energy. Tiger eye this time, passion. Turn your fear of change into excitement for change. 
all hinging on that lookout energy, right? So you do got some fiery energy, but you can turn it and work it in your favor. So I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe, all of that wonderful stuff. Throw a comment in the box down below um, and check out. There's uh, th thumbnails right above this video there. Click on one of those and uh, check out some more content. Have a great week, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.